Welcome back. Today we've got three different flavoured freeze-dried ice creams from Camper's Pantry. We've got a, it's a, a whiskey or a single malt whiskey freeze-dried ice cream. And then we've got a pepperberry and leatherwood honey ice cream. And then the last one I've got here, this is the chocolate gelato. Primarily for hikers, but you know, you can use it for anything, camping, snacks, whatever you want. All three ice creams is a net, net weight of 50 grams or 1.76 ounces. So we're just gonna do a bit of a taste test. We'll try the single malt whiskey first. I've got my camera lady on the other side. She's gonna try it as well, and she can give us a bit of feedback what she thinks, so we can do a bit of a comparison. But this indulgent dessert boasts a dash or two of single malt Tasmanian whiskey blended through velvety Tasmanian ice cream, freeze dried for you to enjoy in your favorite tracks and trails. So it's quite a, quite a big chunk and you can, it's quite weighty, but we're just gonna break off a little bit. I'm just gonna put that back in there. So this is the single malt whiskey. Here, try that. That's really nice. Crunchy. Mmm. Like, so, like nougat. Nougat. A bit like nougat. Mm, yeah, it is a little bit new, like nougat. Or honey I'm just trying to think as far as the whiskey flavour. I personally can't taste. There is a slight aftertaste of whiskey. That's about it. It's not like an overpowering taste. But that's really nice, not too sickly, not too sweet. I do like that flavor. Anyway, we might save the, the chocolate gelato for last, the honey flavored. Transport yourself to the Tasmanian bush where the pepperberries grow and the bees collect nectar from the leatherwood trees. Experience the taste of citrus fruits and earthy yet sweet balsamic scents combined into creamy ice cream, freeze dried for you to enjoy along your favorite tracks and trails. This is the honey one and this is the whiskey. Mm, but I really like the whiskey one. Anyway, we'll break this. But I'll just hand this to the camera lady. You think it's like a white chocolate? The texture is like chocolate. It kind of tastes like a white chocolate. I'm just trying to... It reminds me of some sort of... Not a eucalypt flavour, like a... Like a essential oil almost, like a eucalypt... What, what, how would you describe the flavour? I don't really know how to describe that flavour. Maybe a white chocolate, like a subtle chocolate. But there is a hint of like eucalypt or something at the end of it. Which could be the, that could be the pepper berries. Anyway, let's move on. Let's do the last one. The, this is a freeze dried gelato. Okay, this one, this one's definitely looks like chocolate to me. So we've got, this is a chocolate gelato. Van Diemen's Land Creamery combines fair trade cocoa powder made from high quality West African cocoa beans with Tasmanian milk to create this decadent chocolate dessert. So I've got the whiskey ice cream, the honey ice cream, and then the last one is the chocolate gelato. One to the camera lady. It's like a chocolate brownie. Oh, straight away. This is, this is obvious, it's chocolate. This one is a lot denser, which I would have thought being a gelato, it might be lighter, but it's actually quite dense. Definitely a lot denser than the last two. It's very dense. That's like a chocolate brownie, quite rich. Mm. Very crunchy. Like a very crunchy chocolate brownie. Well, that's good. It's very, if you're after a, probably the richest one here already, I can tell is this chocolate one. We'll have a bit more though, in saying that. Do you want another bit more? Okay, we're just gonna try this again. This is very, very hard, very brittle. There you go. I'll tell you a little story about this in a sec. I bought these from Anaconda here in Brisbane. I looked online. And this chocolate one was the one, 
that was, they said is very limited stock. So we drove all the way out to Anaconda and luckily there was two, there's only two packets on the shelves. Yet with the other two, there was still quite a, how many was left on the shelf with the other ones? There's probably, four. probably four or five to, there was only two of these chocolate ones left. But we left one chocolate one for someone else for the weekend. I think in conclusion, my, well, what's your personal preference, camera lady? Chocolate and whiskey. Mm. Not a big fan of the honey one. So the camera lady, she likes the chocolate and the whiskey, her favorite. Which one would you choose out of those two? Either. Either, oh, on, a, on a par? On a... I think my personal favorite would be, and I'm not even a whiskey drinker. I don't even really like whiskey, to be honest with you. But uh, my favorite is the whiskey flavored one. That's really nice. Probably because it's a lot lighter than the other ones. It's, it's, not as, it's not as rich. But if you're after a really rich flavor, definitely go for the chocolate. So, and the, the pepperberry one, which is a honey flavored one, I do like it. It just reminds me maybe of a milder, like if you put it simply, it was, it's sort of a milder flavor than the chocolate gelato. It almost reminds me, this, this honey pepperberry, it almost reminds me of like, it's got like a eucalyptus aftertaste. These are made in Tasmania. They're made in Red Hills, Tasmania. I love Tasmania. Hopefully going back there again next year. And I would have thought, to be honest with you, I thought the whiskey one would be the worst uh, as far as flavor goes, but I'm yeah, definitely finding this to be my favorite one so far. And this is, a, this is very subjective to these tests, isn't it? Because we've all got different tastes. I'll put a link in the description at the very top of the description to where you can buy this product from, the nearest stockist. Like I said before, I bought this from Anaconda here in Brisbane. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one.